This is a new video on how to use an updated version of the High Connect app. So if we just click on High Connect, this is going to show us all the devices connected to our High Connect account. Now, just looking here, we've got the AX Pro alarm system, then we've got a camera system, and then we've got an intercom. Now, these views, if we just look at the camera system, these are the last time we connected to the camera system these are what the views were we can press this little button here that's going to do a different display I prefer going to this display because we've got a little light with a cog and that allows us to go into the arming and disarming of your camera system now this camera system has got three areas we've got driveway front door now fresco so we've got a couple of cameras in the driveway area We've got one of the front door and one in the alfresco. We can create another area by pressing the plus symbol, but we won't do that just yet. So looking at these icons, if that blue, it means the area is armed. So we can individually arm and disarm these areas by just pressing that blue icon. So we've just disarmed the driveway. So press it again, we've armed the driveway. Down the bottom, we've got the unlock padlock that's inside a little picture of a house. If we press that unlock, that's going to disarm all three areas at once. If we then press the icon of a person leaving the house, that's going to arm all three areas. Now, we're under the tab of area. If we move over to the tab of camera, this will show us the cameras that are the new three-in-one cameras, cameras that we can arm and disarm. So the front door, as you can see, it just says front door, whereas the camera below that says rear yard, it says it's not supported, so that is not a live guard camera. So if we click on the front door, we've got the ability to turn off the flashing light or turn off the audio warning just on that one particular camera. So in some circumstances, it's it's kind of common if a client would like just the speaker turned off of one camera but other cameras around the yard we still want the speakers turned on so that's under the tab of camera let's go back to area because that's the the one you're going to use most of the time now if you want to create another area or you want to set up auto arm and auto disarm up in the top right hand corner we've got two icons the this one just here is the share icon. So that's where we can share our cameras to another user. The one to the right is, I say a little cog. Click on that cog, and this is where we can set up your cameras for area four. So if I click on area, and I go to area four, now it's disabled. Click on area four, enable area four, and then you select linked camera. So you select the camera that you want in that area. So if I press the plus sign, I will then select a camera, press OK. I won't actually do that, but that will then put that camera in that area. Let's click the back arrow. Now under here, we've got auto arm. So if I turn on auto arm, I can then set auto arm time and I can set it to auto arm at six o'clock in the morning and then I can set it to auto disarm at say 1800 at night so six o'clock at night so that area will only be on between six and six now if you wanted and this is actually one we do for the alfresco if you want a weekend exception I don't want it to auto arm and auto disarm on the weekend if I turn it off, I want it to stay off, or vice versa. So that's what weekend exception is for. So if we go back, we hit the back arrow. So I'm going to disable area four now. I don't want to use it. I'm going to hit the back arrow, hit the back arrow, hit the back arrow again, hit the back arrow once more, and we're back to our front screen. Now, if you don't like that view and you like more of the older view, up in the top left-hand corner, we can press this button and we can change it. And this is a little bit more like the older view. So you've still got your home cameras here with the bell just next to it. And that bell sends you straight into there. So like me, I've got 
quite a few sites. So that screen works for me.